Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torn, and welcome back to Heart Farm 4 as we are playing as Germany. So, today should be the finale episode. I don't see how the Japanese will stop us from conquering the rest of their territory, particularly considering that they're sending all their divisions on failed invasions where you just get to, to wipe those divisions out. And then they also have a lot over here as well, so they have like 99 divisions left, but most of those aren't in this area. Uh, aren't guarding their homeland. So I do expect that this will be the finale episode. In fact, it'll probably be pretty soon that we'll get them knocked out and then we'll be doing the peace treaty. And it's a probably a good thing that this is the finale episode because we weren't going to have a video on Sunday. On Sunday, August 8th, my wife and I are celebrating our 14th wedding anniversary. So we've been married for 14 years, guys. Quite a long time. And uh, we, we weren't planning on, on putting any videos out that day. I know we just came back from our vacation, of course, but, you know, that vacation was not planned to do it at that point. Uh, you know, it was supposed to be, you know, almost two months after we had already done our anniversary. Uh, but, yeah, I guess it works out since this uh, series will likely be be done. Uh, so we won't have any videos on Sunday regardless, uh, but we'll have to be starting a new series. And I'll talk about uh, what we're going to be doing next at the end of this video. So if you came into this video, you haven't watched the series at all, and you're just coming here, to find out what's happening next, then you're going to go ahead and go all the way to the end of the video because that's when we'll we'll discuss it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and try and get the Japanese knocked down so we can do this peace treaty, which I do expect to take some time. It's going to be a longer peace treaty. We're going to try and attack across here. I know we don't have a lot of units to do this task, and some of these guys are kind of crappy at it, like these tanks here. Oh, they're going to go that way. Well, that'll work too if we can get around. Yeah, but you know what? Let's not do it that way. Let's go this way because this guy here can go this way. Alright, so we're just sitting here. I think we're waiting for this dude here to leave. Because we want to take the, the port province. And he leaves in a couple hours. We're going to go after Hiroshima. So we would not be dropping any nukes on the Japanese. We just never were able to get any. And it's only 1943. So we've won this war. We won it very, very quickly. Remember the war did start a little bit later than it often does. And yet here we are, ended in, in 43. Uh, it was just a really, really quick playthrough overall. It just usually takes a lot longer for us to get these series done. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try and go back here. Uh, this attack here should end the defense that we can get over here, hopefully for that guy and just get him cut off. That'd be the smoothest way for this to go. All right, he's gonna go and start pushing forward here and we're gonna attempt to attack right there. It looks like we should be able to beat that cab division. Uh, we do have military factories. Really, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. So we're not going to mess with uh, production or any of that kind of stuff since, again, it's pretty unimportant at this point. And I guess we'll just have all these units come over here and attack. And maybe take a few of the units here. Uh, maybe the ones that have, like, better organization. Come over here and help us out with that defense there. Still engaging troop convoys here as well that I think are still doing invasions because it still shows dangerous naval invasion here. And I think that's the only one we have to worry about. We do want to make sure that we push back any invasions that happen while we do this because they're still launching them. Again, I'm not entirely sure why they're not prioritizing finishing up this war, but that is, that's just the way they're doing it. We're going to go ahead and try and go straight across here. This tank right here has been very, very successful, but it looks like he's finally been stopped. Yeah, he's not going to win that. Do the low organization. All right, let's have these guys take all this over. And then we're going to want to add a new front. Oops. We're going to want to add a new front here, but we can't. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Maybe I had something selected wrong. There we go. Maybe I just hit the wrong button. All right, so we're going to have them come over here. Uh, the cab division is leaving, so we'll just let them leave in 18 hours, and then we'll go take that province. Uh, this guy is supposed to just go straight to this uh, province here, and then we'll have him go grab that air base. And so yeah, we're just waiting for these guys to leave and then we'll shoot across there. I don't know why they're not defending that territory, why they made that decision. That's what they have decided to do. Uh, this guy is not left. Let's try attacking with, yeah, unfortunately can't win there. All right, well he's leaving. Can you imagine if we got stuck like this? I mean, obviously we're gonna win this one, but can you imagine if we were stuck like right here, if they put up a, a valiant defense here? And then we weren't able to get across and like the campaign was just like stymied right here couldn't do anything <laughs> That'd be funny It'd be funny and then we wouldn't end the series after I just said it would be the finale And we'd just be stuck trying to get across there. It's not like something like that hasn't happened before Maybe not so, so much on the end of a series, but we have had where we just could not get across a, a straight for whatever reason 
I guess none of this matters here anymore. We'll throw those over there, you know, up to the 30 ships, and we'll put these guys over here, too. We're always having to replace the submarines that we're losing throughout this territory. Uh, are our ships out there? Will they engage? Are they still repairing up? 90.8%, so that one battleship is still repairing up. That actually reminds me that I wanted to make this battleship here. It's one of our Bismarcks. It's our newest battleship. I wanted to make them into the pride of the fleet. I've been wanting to do this for a while. We just haven't had the political power. So we're going to do it here at the very end. Uh, let's see what we did with the the port strike. I'm kind of curious if we got anything. We didn't. Okay. That was worth checking on, though. All right, so just about done here, guys. Although we need this tank to start pushing forward. We're going to attack right there to stop him from you know, hurting us in this attack here. All these units are over here, but yeah, we don't have any... Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, we don't have uh, any organization for any of these units, so... I was going to put these guys over here. Looks like they're attempting to cut us off here, so that's not good. Uh, but we could just go ahead and dip behind them and go get Nagasaki. Uh, and it looks like this guy should arrive in time before this CAD division does. Let me see, 10 hours compared to 14 hours. He would not arrive in time. Could we arrive at this division? 15 hours, so nobody could. And we can't attack there either. Okay, so that's unfortunate. We're just going to go ahead and try and get... Nagasaki to get this war over with because that'll be the win. You just take Nagasaki and you win. You do have to often take most of the Japanese territory, unfortunately. Oh, okay, that guy was retreating over to here. Okay, it just looked strange. I thought he was in this province going to this one. That was not the case. He was already defeated. I got it now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attack right here. And we might get stopped right there. Yeah, we're going to get stopped right there. There's no winning there. Not yet, anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and put a front here, though. Maybe. There we go. All right, so these guys are going to go and attack across. We're going to send the, the weaker ones. We'll let them get their organization up. So we'll attack across that way. And just waiting for the rest of the Red Army divisions to get over here. Because these tanks did push forward pretty quick. Getting that might be enough. We'll take a peek real quick where we're at here. Uh, 99%. So, frankly, just taking these provinces would probably wrap this up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Go straight towards that one. We could probably avoid going after Nagasaki if it, you know, it puts up a good defense or something. We'll see what we sunk here to see if we had any more, like, big battles. Uh, we lost the submarine. Okay. And we've continued to do the port strike. We're just losing planes to barely do any damage to them. Again, uh, that situation in Ireland has been quite challenging. All right, so these guys should be moving over to this front. We'll see if we can hit them now. Probably not. Yeah, maybe. So we'll attack there, and then that would be the win once we... Uh, once we achieve victory in that that province, then we, we essentially win. We're going to take these provinces here. Again, all this is going to get us towards the uh, the war score needed, and we should have it at this point. And so, yeah, we'll attack them, get them destroyed. We're just waiting for it. Uh, but it's definitely sitting at 100%. And remember, they're the last ones we have to defeat, so that'll be the peace treaty. Uh, we'll go ahead and dip around, see if there's anything we sunk here. So we did sink some convoys, so that's good. So, yeah, now it's just a matter of waiting for the... The peace treaty to fire for them to capitulate and then the peace treaty to fire there we go all right guys so that's it but remember this is gonna be a big old peace treaty there's a lot of countries involved in this as you can see here so a lot of stuff to to play around with here and i think we're going to take some of the territory up here you know obviously we're going to take danzig that makes sense we should probably do that first as far as points go you can see that we have a very high number of points we're at sitting at 60 something percent of the war participation while well, America had maybe 15% or something like that. Uh, somewhere around there. So we should be able to do quite a bit, hopefully, before we have to pass it over to the Americans. Uh, the Swedish actually did quite a bit. Uh, the Swedes did quite a bit in the uh, war as well. I uh, remember they fought mostly in North Africa. The Dutch had several successful invasions. Mexico helped out in a couple different areas. Belgium was one that I was a little bit more confused with because I never really saw them doing anything, but I knew they were getting points. I'm not entirely sure what they did. I say we're gonna take Danzig, and I think we're gonna take this one too. It just makes the the map look a little bit better. And there are a lot of Germans that live in in this province as well. And so I think we're gonna take that one, but we'll leave the rest for Poland, unless we give some of it up to one of the other countries. But nobody else has cores, with the exception of Ukraine. I suppose you can give all this territory to Ukraine. They actually helped us in the conflict, and that would make sense. Uh, we can also fr uh, free Belarus, and I think we will. Yeah, we will do that. I'm just looking at other possibilities. Obviously, these all need to be puppeted. Uh, we're not going to annex all this territory here. We could annex South Tyrol. 
if that's how you pronounce that, but could be mispronouncing it. Austria has a claim what we do not, but that's rightfully German territory, I would say. So yeah, we're going to annex that as well. And then that's probably it for annexations, at least here in Europe. Yeah, I think the rest of this will be like, you know, puppeting or given to other countries. As far as uh, colonies, you know, we Germany used to have several colonies that we could take for ourselves. Uh, I guess we already have a colony here, so it makes sense to take that one. I think we will take that one, actually. So we'll grab that. So there's other colonies around the world that we could get. But I don't know that we're really becoming a, a colonial country, per se. We might have a couple colonies, but I don't know that we're going to take back all of the colonies that we used to have. And we could do that. We didn't fight in Africa at all, so I don't think it makes sense for us to get African territory. There is the territory over here, so you could like take Indochina and make that into a German territory. I almost feel like you have to take this province, because that's formerly German. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll take that one for ourselves. So maybe we have some uh, territory where it would make sense, like territory where we would have a, a naval base, for instance, to be able to make sure that the, uh, the Asian countries are not starting trouble again. Just kind of give us a base of operations here in the area. Let's could do that. Uh, all this was already under territory of our allies. Could also take little the little patches here, which were you know usually owned by a, a European country. So we could always take like these patches as well. Let's see what they got in there. If we just took one of them, three factories in this one. Well, this one has two. So yeah, you could like take one there. And then Indochina for all the resources. It might make sense to take Indochina. You could also just free them up too. This has been a colonial territory for a long time. So we could just take this for ourselves and then maybe say, you know, that's it. Though it would be nice to get all this too. All Siam for colonial territory. So yeah, you could do that and then say, hey, that's that's it. That's the German That's the German Empire that we're building, and then you know, with everything else just puppet and and uh, give it to other countries. And I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. I think that's it for us. We took a little bit of colonial territory. Uh, we're not gonna go crazy with it because we could take over everything for ourselves if we wanted to. Um, I think we're just gonna focus on like freeing countries first. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get started in that effort. First thing I wanna do is probably puppet the, the UK. Although you have to free all those countries first, most likely. We might be able to try and puppet them, but it might, uh, give them uh, all their territory. It's, you never really know what the the button's going to do when you click it. And look at all these countries we can free from them. And all these countries that we can satellite. Probably something we're going to do. Uh, I'm looking for satellite in the UK. I must have just, just passed it. There's British Egypt. But yeah, I'm not seeing an option for... I guess you can create a supervised state. This This would result in them getting all of their territory, though. And that's what I was talking about, and I don't want to do it that way. So I think what it might be a, a better option is to just go and free the countries from the UK. And the UK is going to take a while to deal with. So I almost want to go ahead and deal with some of the other countries first instead. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's start with Poland just because they're on our border. So it makes the most sense to prioritize them and then maybe do Italy next because they're also on our border. So with Poland, remember we want to give... Some of this territory to Ukraine, and then we also want to free up. I guess we could do Ukraine first. Or you just free Belarus. That's the other thing we want to do here. So we're looking for Poland. Looks like I'm just passing them. They're up here at the top, actually. Uh, so we can just create a supervised state that will not let us release Belarus. So we might have to take that territory for ourselves. Same thing with this territory that is rightfully Lithuania's. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why we can't uh, can't free them. So this is what we'll do. We'll go ahead and take the, the territory here. All this territory here. And then we'll free them ourselves. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, and then with the Ukrainian territory, you can just grant that to them through here. Since they're already an ally. So we just got to find them in here. And not pass them, which I'll probably end up doing. Here we go. All right, so they're gonna get all this territory here. And then Poland will just be this little territory here. That's gonna be it for Poland. And we would want to uh, pop back up here and then create a supervised state in the remaining provinces. So we're done with Poland. 
And we still have points left, so we can go and start working on Italy next. Another thing with the uh, uh, the British is just going to take so long to, to deal with them. Still got to deal with all this Chinese territory, too. I mean, there's a lot that needs to get done. Uh, Russia needs to be given all this territory. Uh, that's not worth a lot of points, so we might be able to do it even after we've taken care of Italy. Uh, so let's go and do Italy first, since, again, they're on the border. And what I want to do is go ahead and free up their territory over here. So we'll want to satellite that. We'll also want to satellite Albania. We'll satellite Ethiopia. Uh, probably Libya as well. That makes sense, I think. And yeah, I guess we'll satellite both of them too. So I think that looks good. Satellite Chad. Although you then have to give that territory from the British to Chad. I guess that's fine. We could do it that way. If it even lets us, if you even have the points, we'll have to see when we get there. All right, so now that we satellited all those countries, we then want to create a supervised state in Italy, and we actually do have the points to do that. However, we could change up some of the other territory they have here. Like give this to Greece. I think that would make sense. Yeah, I think we should give that to Greece. Uh, we also are going to want a presence here in the Mediterranean. So might want to take some, some more territory I didn't even think about, like Gibraltar. I think that makes sense. Take Gibraltar, take Malta. Make it so the British no longer have a presence in the Mediterranean. That'd be fun. Uh, let's go ahead and select Greece. And even though I know they're going communist, we're going to give them a little bit of territory here. They'll get something from their efforts. As far as the rest of this, I mean, there's really not much else to do here. Because you can't, like, free them. You can take them for yourselves, I, I suppose. We can even take them for Spain. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Spain's getting more territory over here. Uh, Spain was an enemy too, though. I know they helped us in the conflict a little bit. So yeah, you could give Sardinia to Spain. Just to kind of shit on Italy's power base. Kind of take something from them. For making us fight them. Not that Italy was very difficult. And hopefully I didn't skip Spain. I'm over here talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, let's go and see if we can't find them. Oh, is the reason why we can't free Belarus because there already is a Belarus? Oh, I already freed them. Shh, they're right here. So that's what the problem is. Uh, so what we want to do is give that territory to them. Okay. It's, I, I didn't even notice that they're right there. So yeah, they're right there. And so let's go ahead and... We'll have to have ourselves selected to do this, won't we? So yeah, we'll go ahead and, and get rid of all these, I suppose. And we'll give this to Lithuania when we free them. All right, so yeah, that makes sense. I was wondering why I couldn't free them. That makes perfect sense, because they were already free. I think they're down here somewhere. All right, so let's go and give these three provinces to them. I don't know how much they helped in the war, or if they even deserve it, but we'll give it to them anyway. Uh, so well, we're, we, we're looking for somebody here. Oh yeah, Spain, so I did skip them. I thought I might have skipped over them. It seemed to be the case. I didn't think they'd be this far down here. There's Portugal. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to give Sardinia to, to Spain. For reasons. Alright, so they, they're getting that. And... Let me see what we want to do here. I think we'll probably just release Cyprus. We're going to probably release a lot of the uh, British territory, is what I'm thinking. Uh, we still have to deal with Italy, though. So let's go and create that supervised state. And we'll see how many points we have left. Alright, so all that's been dealt with. Still need to free up all these countries. I think that's what we'll do next. I think that makes the most sense here. Uh, we'll start with Lithuania. Because I don't know how many points we're going to have here. How many we'll be able to get done. So we'll create the supervised state in Lithuania. And then we'll do Latvia. So we'll just go from south to, to north here. Uh, so I think they were down here, weren't they? So create the supervised state in Lat Latvia. And then in Estonia we're going to do the same thing. And then we'll be able to give that territory to Lithuania next turn. All right, so you've pretty much dealt with all Eastern Europe here, but we still have to get the Romanians divvied up. Also, we need to give Crimea back to the Ukrainians. This might be a lot of points, since they don't have a core or claim there, and uh, the Russians currently hold it. That's not too bad. So yeah, we're gonna give it back to them. Russia thought that boy was gonna work, but it will not. So could cre create Moldova, and I think we will. Could get that territory to Ukraine, but we won't. 
I think instead we're going to give this to Moldova. So yeah, look at all this. Uh, that's a weird one, though. Yeah, that's a weird one because it's rightfully Romanian. But yeah, it results in things looking strange since we're giving... Well, I guess this does not go to Moldova. Which is surprising because that's the name of the state. I think we might end up giving all this to them anyways. Yeah, I think that's the way we're going to do it, guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with... Uh, seeing if there's any other territory we could give to... Like the Hungarians here. So this is all Transylvania. I guess we'll free Transylvania then. You could give all this territory to the Hung Hungarians. I suppose. I guess they were allies the entire war. I, I guess it makes sense to give them Transylvania and just create like a stronger Hungarian country here. Yeah, I, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll start with that. So let's see if we can find them. I don't know how f far down or up they were. Let's have to scroll through here. Here we go. All right, excellent. So yeah, we're going to give them this territory. Why not? Just make it more powerful. And that will result in probably Romania just being here, is what I'm thinking. That's all they're going to have. You can also just give all the Romanian territory to Bulgaria. I think that might be what we do, actually, and they're right here. Yeah, we're just going to give all this to Bulgaria. Romania shouldn't have uh, gone against us. Because weren't they one of the countries that were supposed to join our alliance, but didn't? I don't really remember. Uh, but I think that's what happened. Uh, so if we want to finish up here in Romania, we're going to need to find them on here. I'm just scrolling past them. They're there. Uh, go back to ourselves, of course. And then we're going to want to satellite Moldova. And then we'll give them these two provinces once uh, we get to the next turn, once they're free. All right, so I think that's everything here in Europe outside of the United Kingdom. The other countries that need to be dealt with here. There's a, there's a lot of countries, frankly, that we have to deal with. We haven't given the territory to the Russians yet over here, so I think that's what we're going to do next, is give uh, this territory to Russia. Uh, so let's go and find them. They helped out in the war, even if they were uh, enemies of ours. They did help in the war, and this is rightfully their territory. I think we even have them occupying it all right now. So we're going to go ahead and grant this all to them, and it will connect them with their territory here as well. Uh, as far as the territory here... Yeah, I guess we'll give it all to them. I mean, there's not really anything else to do with it. Could give... I mean, Japan's more of an enemy, so I think we'll just give all this to them. Oh, it looks like we ran out of points there. Yep, ran out of points with that one. That 40-pointer. That doesn't mean we can't do anything else, though. So we'll take a peek and see if there's anything that could be done. Like maybe free in Cyprus. Yeah, let's go through the United Kingdom and see what all we can do with their territory, because they have a lot of things that... That we want to uh, to satellite here. Now it could liberate instead of satelliting. Again, looking for things that are, are cheaper. It can't be, you know, like this much. That's just too expensive. 73 is probably too expensive as well. I think 40 was too expensive. So we'd have to do like cheaper than 40. And even then, we still might not be able to. I mean, I guess you can do some of these ones here. Okay, yeah, we can do a few of these. Uh, we'll satellite Belize first in Central America. Now, we don't want to satellite a Spain. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, that's going to be it. All right, so I think we're going to end our turn here. Uh, we'll see what the Americans do. You think they want to do much? They're just satelliting countries. They did satellite the Chinese Empire and the Mongol Empire. Okay, well, that's interesting. And we we're going to do all that anyways. Uh, but that does result in there being one, yeah, what we'll want to do is, is make sure the Yunnan does not get satellite then, which I don't know if we can stop that from happening. And instead give all this territory to the Chinese Empire, because I don't really like the way this looks here. So we'll try and fix it. We'll see if we can make that happen. It's hard to say if, if we're going to be able to or not. All right, well, we still have a few things we wanted to do here, like give any territory to Chad that, you know, they have cores on, which I think would just be that one. So that is dealt with now. Um, I thought we satellite Italy. Did we not do that? Yeah, I could have swore we did. Did we satellite them and then they have a territory somewhere and I had to give this all to them? Yeah, maybe they got some weird province situation. Yeah, that might have also moved their capital. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just fix what we can here. 
All right, so we've taken all these guys already and puppeted them. Lithuania can't be given this territory. That was one of the things we're looking for. Uh, the other thing we're looking for is Moldova. Ooh, that is a lot of points. But if we don't do it, then somebody else is going to uh, puppet them, and then you have a Romania here. So I don't want that. So we're going to have to spend the points, unfortunately. Not really the best use of our points, but it is what it is, guys. All right, so let's see what we want to do next. I think we really ought to try uh, subjugating them or the UK. I guess the UK would make the most sense. Although you still got to liberate all this territory, don't you? Yeah, he's got like a ton of territory that we have to liberate here before we'll be able to. All right, so I guess let's figure out what happened to, to the the Italians. Did we not create a supervised state? I thought we did. Okay, I guess we never did it. All right, that must have been my, my mistake there. Well, we'll supervise them now. So we'll get that done. And then I'm going to see what happens when we satellite Britain now. See if anything's changed here. And you got British Egypt. We could break Britain up, which would be interesting. And I suppose we could do that, break Britain up in several different kingdoms. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, actually. All right, well, let's see if there's anything else to do. It's going to take some points to do that. And you know what? The Americans might also stop us from doing it. That's a real possibility. So let's go to deal with Japan first. And we're going to give... Korea back their territory or make them free again. Oh, looks like we just ran out of points. Can we not do anything? Maybe not. Maybe something really cheap under Britain, perhaps. It's a possibility. We'll see. Yeah, we could do some of these cheaper ones. We'll do that one. All right, so let's go to end our turn. See what the Americans did. All right, so they're satelliting all the Chinese. Uh, warlords. That's unfortunate. I didn't really want that to go that, down that way. But the Americans have points, so if they want to keep them broken up, there's not a whole lot we can do. But what I would like to do is at least unite the Chinese Empire here, uh, just with these territories, so that if Yunnan is going to be a free separate country, uh, then at least the Chinese Empire isn't split up here, because that just looks ridiculous. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we'll find them in here and get that fixed. Here we go. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to give them this territory here. Just to get them connected with their, their current territory and make the map look better. Uh, you could go down here and then, like, give them all that with the intention of eventually taking the entire country for them if Yunnan's not uh, puppeted. We'll see. Uh, for right now, we're going to give them all that. So we dealt with that territory. Uh, the Italians still need the rest of their territory, but I'm not too worried about it because they can't, it can't be freed. And I don't think the Americans are going to take it. So it's not a priority. I think the priority should be uh, trying to, like, subjugate Japan or at least get all their the territory liberated that we want to, to liberate. So I wanted to start with Korea. Oh, Lord, it's too many points. All right, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. All right, so can't do anything with, there with Japan, so instead we'll, we'll probably do some more with, with Britain, more satellite, because they do have a lot of cheap stuff to satellite, because we're going to break up the British Empire. Uh, we could... No, that's too many points. Uh, these are all cheaper here. I guess we'll do that one. Yeah, we'll do that one for right now, unless we can do wells. No, you can't. Okay, uh, so that'll work. Let's go and enter turn. See what the Americans have done. Again, I do expect they... Yeah, they continue uh, releasing countries, which is fine. Doesn't matter who does it. Because uh, that's what I was going to do anyways with that territory. Uh, I guess you could have united some of this here. But yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we can have it broken up a little bit. I'm okay with that. Now, we never finished giving this territory to Russia, so let's go ahead and do that. I just forgot about it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take care of that real quick. If I can find them in here. I mean, we've got, like, so many countries involved in this peace treaty. It just makes everything take a lot longer. Now, we're going to give all this to Russia. And we're even going to give this territory to Russia. Though it looks like we don't have any points here. So, you know what, guys? Let's, uh... Let's reset this, and then we're going to pass. Okay, they're going to do what they do. So that we can uh, try and get some stuff done. So we're giving all that to Russia. So that's good. Uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at the Japanese. 
to try and get them finished up just because i think they'll be a little bit easier than well they will be easier than doing britain uh we're liberating we want to satellite korea so we're gonna satellite korea and let's see who we might want to do next uh we'll likely give that territory up yeah i think we're gonna give that territory up but i don't know who to give it up to yet i wonder if we satellited korea if or if we satellite japan if that would go to them it would not but they would get some of this territory looks like only the core territory that they have i don't want them getting that so at the very least we have to give this up to manchukyo so we're going to do that first and then i think we'll satellite japan because i'm fine with them keeping the rest of this territory i mean they don't keep that one all right we found them so we're gonna give them that uh we could give them this territory as well it would look better yeah i guess we'll give them that territory it's a lot of points I think that's fine. Like it says all, I have all this dealt with and then it's just Beijing down that needs to be, uh, you know, handed out. So let's go ahead and now create the supervised state with the Japanese. And it looks like because we have done some stuff with their territory that it's not going to, okay, that, that works out. We can get the rest of this to them. As long as we create the supervised state, I'm okay with it. So Japan, we have that going for them. Let's go and see how we want to do it with the rest of these countries. We still have a lot of territory to liberate in Britain. I think we're going to start working on them, actually. Yeah, let's go and start satelliting some territory. We want to free Egypt. Uh, somebody suggested giving some territory to Sweden uh, because of their efforts to conquer, you know, the uh, you know to help out in North Africa. At least they, they launched the invasion down here. But I feel like the Swedes wouldn't want colonial territory. I think they would want to liberate them. And I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're just going to liberate all the African countries here. So yeah, we're going to start with uh, whatever we can do. We can't do Egypt, apparently. Could do Ireland? No, can't do Ireland. How about Scotland? Slightly cheaper, but yeah, I can't do that either. You can do Wales, though, so I guess we'll start with that. Uh, we already knew we wanted to do Cyprus, so we'll do them as well. And yeah, just do some of these cheaper ones here. I don't really care about any of this colonial territory, so... Uh, looks like you can't even do these anyways. They're too damn expensive. Uh, so we really used all our points this time. Can't even take something that's, you know, two or three points. So yeah, you know you, d you uh, utilized every bit of points that you could. So let's go and enter turn. And, you know, the, the Americans are helping us. I wouldn't have satellited all these islands that they're satelliting, but it's fine. However they want to do it, I don't really care. And, yeah, I think it's just a matter of taking all this Japanese territory now. I kind of want to finish China up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm tempted here to go ahead and try and give. I mean, you get a very powerful China here if you do give all this to them. I suppose you could have two separate Chinas. I just kind of, I mean, you have more than two separate Chinas because you got these little territories here. So this could be, you know, what we know is is China, and then this could be Yunnan or whatever. Kind of split it up. Because it's going to look weird no matter what. If your borders go all the way up to here, I mean, this looks, it looks strange. At least a little bit strange. It would be a weird looking uh, China, I mean. But yeah, I guess we can just give it all to one China. Why not? It's easier for diplomacy. You just got one China you got to deal with. But it is going to be a, a more powerful China than what starts in the game. Man, we just do not have very many points. And I kind of hesitant to do it this way because of the fact that we don't know what the United States is going to do with their points. So I think we'll have to do it. I guess you could give all this to them. Yeah, you know what? I'm tempted to do that. So they're right here. So if we wanted to give them this territory, which, I, again, I kind of do. I know we have that splitting them right now. Apparently they got that. I mean, it still kind of connects it, though. I suppose it's fine. Uh, we might take Hong Kong for ourselves. I think we will. Yeah, we'll take Hong Kong for ourselves. Uh, but the rest of this can go to the Chinese Empire here. Well, looks like we already did too much. Damn it. It's always so short on the points. All right, so yeah, we won't be able to do any of these. I'm about to take back, I don't know, maybe that one. Even that's not enough. Is that one just too expensive? Yeah, that one's just too expensive. All right, well, we can, no, we can't even do that one. Uh, can we take Hong Kong for ourselves? Oh, we're not even up here anymore. Where the hell are we at? There we are. And try taking Hong Kong, seeing if we got the points for that. We do not. All right, so we'll just see if we can release any 
Any more countries from the British Empire. And that'll be the end of our turn. Just look for something cheap here. It's gotta be pretty darn cheap though. You better get it done. Yeah, you can't even do those. Okay, so we used all our points. We didn't have very many points. Frankly, I think we need to to wait a turn. Uh, Ireland's been liberated, excellent. So, I mean, the United States is doing what we want them to do, which is just liberating countries. Um, well, I mean, they're liberated instead of satelliting, but that's fine as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and try and finish up here, what I was doing here. Give them that last bit of territory there. Love all these countries you got here. Some flags you don't often see in Hoi Four Wells. Korea, I'd say you probably see a little bit more often these days. All right, so we're gonna start with giving them that territory there, and then that'll likely be it. I mean, I guess we can give them this one too, create them a little bit larger, and then the Chinese Empire gets the rest. Yeah, I suppose that works. So let's go and try and finish it up China. I don't know how much we'll be able to get done here. We'll do as much as we can though. We might be able to finish it up. That'd be awesome. Watch it be like one province. No, it looks like we got it done. Oh, we haven't finished here though. That'll be the one province. Oh, we got that done too. As far as Taiwan goes, I guess you can give it to the Chinese Empire. Like three points. Not too expensive. All right, so Japan needs to be dealt with. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I think we should probably focus on the UK now. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna wanna continue satellite in their territory here. So yeah, we'll start with British Egypt if it lets us, which it didn't. Uh, that was just a little bit too many points there. We'll try and find some, some cheaper stuff. Now we can do all these. A lot of these are just one province here. I don't know if we can do these ones. They're all too expensive with the 30 pointers. Still some stuff here that's cheap though that we can make make happen before we end our turn. I think that's going to be it though. All right, so let's go into our turn. Slowly getting the, the British Empire broken up. It does take a while. Uh, we're getting help from the Americans though. Uh, let's go and pass our turn so we can get some more points. And I do want to kind of do a little sweep, make sure I'm not forgetting about anything. I know that Canada's not dealt with yet. And what I would probably do is give all this territory to Canada. You know, I know they're an enemy the entire time. Uh, I don't know if it's an option to break Canada up. I don't think so. Yeah, you yeah, have the option to break Canada up into like their states or anything like that, unfortunately. Uh, Australia still needs to be done, but we'll let the Americans do that if they if they want to. And India needs to be done too. All right, I just want to make sure I wouldn't miss anything. Uh, let's just continue with the, the British. Satelliting their, their territory. Uh, Scotland. Yeah, let's satellite Scotland. Let's see. Start messing with all the territory over here, which there's three states to split up, and there's also Angola and Africa to do. Uh, we know we want to do Algeria and Tunisia and Morocco. I guess we'll let Madagascar be free. Uh, yeah, we're just going to free up all these countries, though. I'm still looking for Lebanon. I don't know if I passed them. Yeah, they are. All right, so we're gonna make sure Lebanon gets done. And yeah, these are all really cheap, so. I yeah, should be able to do all this. Now, some of these countries might be ones that like share, like there's multiple cores across here. We just should double check, make sure there's no like choices to be made on who gets the, the territory here. Doesn't look like it. Looks like everybody just said, there's just one core for each one. Okay, I wasn't sure. Also, be freeing up the Arabian Peninsula and all the countries over there. And, uh, the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's free them. Yeah, we'll free all these guys. Everybody gets to be a free country. So, we're gonna have like a million countries around the world. Won't be a million, maybe a couple hundred. So, yeah, we're slowly getting all Africa done. And it looks like that's it. All this territory here is, I guess you can do that one. Uh, South Africa. I want to give that out. But it's too expensive. So we just ran out of points here. All right, we'll do these two then. And that looks pretty solid. Let's go ahead and end our turn. See what the Americans do. Uh, they didn't get to do anything. All right, let's go and pass because they should be able to do something this time. Maybe not. Did they give their points up yet? 
I'm not sure. Because yeah, they don't do anything here. Was Yemen at all involved in this war so we can give this to them? Because if they're not, then what we'd want to do is essentially like free them up by uh, taking it and then granting it to Yemen. I don't, I don't think they're in it, so that's what we'll do. And then we'll free it. I don't think there was any other territory we were doing that with. All right, so let's see uh, what we have left for. I guess there's South Africa. We knew we couldn't get that one done. And interestingly enough, yeah, we can't actually satellite Britain for whatever reason. Yeah, that's not really an option. So we might have to take all their states and then free them. Yeah, it's, should be able to like create an England or something like that. But yeah, that's not that's not an option. Uh, let's go ahead and create a. I guess we'll satellite Australia. Uh, what all do we have left? Uh, I guess we want to create the supervised state here in El Salvador. And then we just want one India. So I don't know where that capital is going to be in. Right there. All right, so we can go ahead and create that, and then we'll we'll give them their territory. Though we could end up having a problem if we don't deal with them first. So we're probably going to want to do that next. So we already have a South Africa here, so this is not really important. Now we could have freed them up, broken them up just a little bit. And you know what? Maybe we will do that, actually. Yeah, we're going to do it that way. So go through South Africa so we can satellite some of this territory give it to somebody else. And then we'd want to satellite South Africa. All right, so that looks good. Still a little bit of islands out here to... I, I suppose we'd take those for ourselves. Just for our navy to operate with the assumption that the, the German fleet will be the one to rule the waves now. Technically, Japan and the United States have the largest fleets in the world still. The British fleet has been wrecked, though. So we have the, the largest fleet in Europe, I think. Yeah, I don't think anybody can, can contend with us in Europe anymore. So yeah, if we want to be a, a naval power, then we need some islands to operate out of. So we're going to take these these islands here. Although it looks like that was one point too many. <laughs> All right, so we'll be able to take that one. And I'm not sure, I kind of feel like America would be most interested in getting Bermuda there. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and end our turn then. Since we don't have any more points. Um, not sure what happened with South Africa since the United States just did that too. Uh, it looks like they're now working on Canada. All right, so they've satellite them, and now they got to give them all that territory. Okay. So I think India should be the next country that we deal with here, guys. I think that's the one that would make the most sense. Since we do not want the Americans creating a separate India here. Because, you know, there's two Indias right now. So I think that's the best way to, to do this. I guess we should do it from over here, just in case they do create a separate India. We can make sure the, maps doesn't get, the map doesn't get too messed up here. I guess we'll grant them all this here. Now we'll just have to see if we can get it all. It looks like we were able to. All right, awesome. So that's all been dealt with. Let's see what we want to do next. Is there anything else to be done over here? Uh, there's a little patch of territory here. I think we're just gonna give this up to the Dutch East Indies. Ah, there we go, Dutch East Indies. So we're gonna go ahead and give them that. That's 10 points. A lot of work for something so minor. And you know what? We're going to give them all this territory, too. Because they're the closest. So I'll give all that to them. And now I think it's just about giving... I mean, we still have to deal with the, the UK here. Yeah, I guess that's not dealt with yet. So I suppose we'll work on them next. And I'm not entirely sure why we can't satellite them specifically. It's not an option. So I think what we're going to do is just conquer their territory... And then we'll uh, we'll free them, since it's not an option to just to just satellite them. Only thing I can think is that I wonder if they've already been satellited somewhere. If somebody didn't do that already. Up, oh, yep, that's what it is. They're our subject. I guess we had done that, but where? Uh, we hit the satellite and it didn't give them this territory, so I'm not sure where their capital is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to grant them this territory now. It'll be a little bit cheaper to do. Oh, Lord. We're going to have to do it that way. 
And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to give them all that much. We just don't have the points at this moment. Okay, uh, so we'll do that for now. I suppose we can look at like giving the Italians some of their territory if we have the points. If the, you know some of the stuff is cheaper here, like a 30 pointer, that's yeah, still too expensive. All right, so can't do that. How about the Japanese? Can we do any of this? You might just have to pass, guys. There's a 14 pointer right there, and a one pointer here, so you could do that at least. All right, excellent. So at least we got something done. Uh, we could try and give them the rest of these too. It looks like that is just too much right there. Okay, uh, so let's go to enter turn. And we're going to pass, and we see what the Americans have done here with their turns. Okay, so they dealt with Venezuela. Also not sure where they satellite in all these Chinese countries. I don't know where that the territory was that was open for them to do that, or if they just did it. Oh, I think it was British-held territory that they did it. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and try and finish up these, these countries, these big countries. So we wouldn't start with the the UK and give them as much territory as we can here we should be able to do the entire country since we passed yeah there we go all right so England is done I guess we'll do the Italians next if we have the points give them as much as they can get looks like we were able to finish the Italians up all right awesome so with that done uh, I think Japan would be the next one I'm gonna try and see if we can't get all of them done as well I think that's everything, right? You still got the Canadians, though. So I guess we'll have to deal with that. Maybe Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela's not done either. I wish there was like a search. That's what they need here. I think that would fix everything, actually. If you had a search and you could search for the country you're looking for rather than having to scroll through here. God, that would be helpful. And watch me have skip past both of them. Uh, there was Venezuela. So let's go ahead and do them first. And... Yeah, I think that's it for them. So now it's just a matter of doing the Canadians, which happen to be right next to Venezuela. Okay. And so we'll give them as much territory as we can give them. And we're even going to give them this former British territory if we can, although it looks like that's not an option. Did the Americans take that from them? Seems like they did. Some of us want to give all this to the Americans, like the whole coastline. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> you know what? We might do something like that. Something crazy like that. I don't know if America has this. It's in their hands. It's their color. I assume they took all that, so I kind of just want to give it to the United States. I don't know if we'll be able to do it this turn, though, because of how expensive it is. I have to try to remember, like, it's down here. So we're just looking for the Americans now. Just trying to scroll through. This never works. That's why I don't go based on flags. Like, it doesn't matter how well you know a flag. It's often it can be difficult to find them when you're scrolling through them. Yeah, we're going to give them all this territory, and I'm just hoping that that's what happened. And they're going to have this whole coastline here. I mean, yeah, yeah, we'll do the whole coastline. I know you have this little batch of territory it makes it look a little bit strange, but that's fine. All right, so we're gonna see if we can't just get to Canada this way. I, I wanna say there's some around here. I probably passed them, yep. And just give them whatever we can until we run out of points here. Another thing we could do is actually, I mean, you could just make like Canada just be this little batch right here and then give like all this to the Americans. I think that'd be interesting. Or at least give all the coastline to them. So the Canadians, I mean, they, they still have some coastline, but you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. I think that'd be kind of cool looking. You just get like one little Canada here in between the Americans. So yeah, we'll do that. I feel like America is the second most helpful country in the war outside of ourselves. Uh, we cannot give this to them because it's too expensive, but you can do these ones. They're nice and cheap. Just can't do this one with the 73 pointer. All right, uh, we're probably just going to go and enter turn then. I don't think there's anything else worth uh, messing around with here. Now, hopefully they don't give that to Canada, because they could have. All right, so we're giving that to the United States. Uh, what's left to be dealt with, I guess? I'm not entirely sure what's still out there. It looks like just British territory, so we might have to do that where you look at the, what states are left. So yeah, there's really no option here but to take all states, I guess. Yeah, that won't even let us take all states. We gotta take them out, take them individually. Yeah, we'll just do that. Take them for ourselves, I suppose. So we'll have some some ports all around the world. Uh, so I think that's it. That's the end of the peace treaty, guys. So let's say we're done. 
I told you it was going to be a long peace treaty. A lot of a lot of countries to be dealt with, which means this peace conference pause here is probably going to take a long time as well. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting new world that we created here. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that we did reward some countries that we fought against and they weren't as adversely affected, even though they were a firmer enemy. It seems like we kind of punished the last enemies more than all the other enemies, because almost the entire world at one point was an enemy. Uh, not the entire world. We had a lot of democratic countries, I suppose, but there was a lot of countries that we had fought at some point in this conflict. I'm just going to shoot through these real quick and see what we had done. Looks like it was no significant battles here at the end. Just lost a few planes. All right, so that's the current world, guys. So this is the way it looks over here. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this Chinese Republic, the way they look. I would have preferred if they had gotten some of this conquered. And then if maybe they'd had this as well. And I don't know, maybe not have this. Can't invite Bangladesh into the faction. Why not? I'll invite them. So I'm not sure how I feel about the, the situation down here. This also kind of looks weird. We took all this territory here, but we need the rubber there. So yeah, we wouldn't have rubber issues anymore because we have all this territory that grants us quite a bit of rubber. Also gives some other important resources. And yeah, we just have ports kind of everywhere. Like, if you look at the world, here's the Central Powers. Essentially, not a large presence here in South America. But everywhere else we dominate. I guess the Middle East is, there's a lot of neutral countries that never got involved with the conflict that are there. But overall, Germany is quite powerful. If you just look at the green here, these are our colonial territories that we took. Uh, we were going to free some of these. So let's actually go ahead and do that now. We're going to just free up. And we could even release other countries as well. I'm not going to grant that to them, that's for sure. So yeah, just looking, you could always like release Malta. You don't have to have them as a, a port, I suppose. But it's one of the only few ports that we have in the Mediterranean, so we'll keep that one. Let's look for other countries we might want to release or uh, give territory back to. Yeah, they're not getting that back. Uh, Yemen, that was the main one that we came in here for. I don't think there's anybody else, though. No. All right, so that's all we really wanted to do here. Okay, so we gave them their territory back there. Let's see if there's like anything else that we really wanted to, to give out. Yeah, because you can't release this territory here, Som uh, Somaliland, which is kind of interesting. We should be, I would want to give this, I guess, to Somalia. But yeah, we can't really do that since they don't have any cores there. I and mean, we'll probably keep these for the resources there. It gives us lots of uh, aluminum. But other than that, you can see we don't really have colonies. We got islands, ports, I would say. I wouldn't really call those, some of these are very unpopulated. There are not a lot of people on some of these islands we have. There's a few. Uh, I don't know if I'll call them colonies. I'm more call them like ports that we'd just be using for our for our fleet to kind of move all around the world. Now this is the uh, current situation. You notice certain countries did not get put in the faction. Those are the ones that the Americans liberated, I think, rather than uh, uh, satellited. Although Ireland's the main one I'm seeing. There's a few over here as well. They should have been part of the peace treaty. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I think uh, those are all countries they they liberated. South Africa, interestingly enough, is part of the Chinese United Front. They're the only country that's in the Chinese United Front. Makes a lot of sense there. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the world, and this is Germany. This is Germany. What we look like now after our victories. Uh, definitely dominating Central Europe here. Uh, of course, the Balkans have been Balkanized. Greeks are a lot more powerful than they were when they joined the war. They've gotten quite a few states here. Bulgaria, we have like, I guess you call this like Great Bulgaria, Greater Bulgaria or something, because they're a lot more powerful. You got Ukraine here as well, and they're a large size. Just looking at other differences here. Of course, the Italians lost out on territory. But you know, Spain was an enemy, and like we gave them territory, and that's what I was talking about. It does feel like kind of just treated the, the last country we fought the most harshly while rewarding former enemies. This is what Africa looks like. Asia's kind of messy again. I'm not extremely happy about the way Asia ended up looking. I guess it's okay. Russia's still pretty powerful. They lost all the territory here and up along the 
the borders with the Western Europe, but you know they have all Eastern Europe they lost here. But uh, they're still pretty powerful. Still a pretty powerful country. Uh, this is ugly as hell. <laughs> we gave all the coastline to the United States. I would have preferred to just have the United States annex all of Canada. That wasn't really an option because they'd already taken this territory and given it to Canada. But I guess we could have just left that little patch and then given the rest of this United States and it probably would have looked better because yeah, this looks kind of strange, honestly. So that's probably not the optimal look there. Uh, so yeah, this here and uh, this here. I'm not exactly happy with, but everything else is fine. I guess this is kind of strange too, but maybe just because we're used to seeing Turkey uh, occupy all this territory, but overall I like, like the map. Yeah, not too shabby. Uh, so that is the end of the series, guys. Uh, we have won the war. There's nothing else to do. Uh, you couldn't even declare war on anybody because nobody else has created world tension. Uh, somebody had said, oh, well, let's go conquer some stuff later. Uh, I don't think that fits for democratic Germany, and, and also it's probably not even possible because nobody has uh, created war score, so we wouldn't be able to, to create a war goal against them. And we don't, I don't think we have any war goals against anybody either. If I'm not mistaken, I guess we got to look at it this way. Uh, we are the target of a foreign war goal. Yeah, we don't even have any workles. So yeah, we wouldn't be able to, to you know, advance any further than we wanted to, but we're not doing that. Uh, we are done with the campaign here. Uh, it was a fun campaign. We went really, really quick. Overall, the campaign was regular length at 23, I think this is 23 videos, maybe 24. Uh, so it's, it's a regular length series. This is about where our series goes. Sometimes it go a bit longer, of course. But it was right about where I want the series to be. And yet still felt really, really quick because we joined the war so late and then we won it so quickly. Like when you look at it, we won very, very quickly in many of these areas. Uh, definitely utilize the Blitzkrieg against all of our enemies, whether it's France and Spain, or you just race through here, and I guess we went through Portugal as well. We did it against the Italians. They, they didn't defend their territory properly though. And then the Soviets, you know, we rushed through their territory very, very rapidly. Did it in China, though we did get kind of stymied here a little bit to what's difficult in China, but you know, they had a lot of troops here, uh, the, particularly the Japanese. The Japanese had a lot of troops in the area. So it took us a little while to get advancing here, but overall we, we moved pretty rapidly once we broke through the front lines. Japan was a quick conquest once we landed on the beaches. Uh, UK was, we had one failure, uh, but once we landed the second time, uh, the second time was a quick conquest. Obviously we, we never took Ireland. Uh, that was a rough one. I guess that's one way you could reason why Ireland is not in a faction here, as you know, they were never conquered. Uh, I mean, they were conquered by the British, but they were never conquered by us. I wonder how that would look, like the British government had been here the whole time holding out, and, and now you have a free Ireland. I assume they went back here to, to England, but I don't know, man. It's kind of a weird situation, since this was kind of their uh, defensive bulwark here against, against the uh, Central European Alliance. So yeah, it was a fun campaign, and again, we moved really, really fast and uh, had an insane kill-death ratio. So now there's the question of what are we doing next on the channel? Uh, a lot of people, you know, want me to play Art of Farm 4 again. I don't think we'll do a Hawaii 4 campaign. We just did two in a row. I'd like to play another game instead, and there are several new games coming out. We'll talk about that here in a minute, uh, but one thing I wanted to address is something a lot of people have asked me about, especially as this series was starting, but also when the other series started, a lot of people were concerned that we are going to run into that patch, uh, that we were going to have the patch, and or it's a big DLC, that big old massive DLC and patch were going to come out right in the middle of the series and ruin the campaign. And, and I've talked to a lot of people about this, whether it's on Discord or, or here on the, the channel or uh, other places on YouTube or on the Paradox forums. There are a lot of people who think this DLC and patch are coming soon. Uh, like all the way back in June, people were thinking like it's any day now going to come out. Uh, I've seen a lot of people say August, uh, so this month is when they're expecting it. And I would have to say that I wouldn't agree with that. I don't think we're getting it anytime soon. I think the earliest we'll see it is October. Uh, I'd be really surprised if we see it in September. I don't think it's coming in August at all. Uh, but I'd be really surprised if we see a September one. I think October is probably the earliest, with a more likely release being in November, maybe even as late as December. That would be impossible. Paradox has released uh, expansions in early December, uh, giving them enough time to, to like put out patches and hotfixes before their Christmas break. But yeah, I think uh, I think November is probably the most likely time, but October is probably the earliest. And what I'm basing this off of is the developer diaries. So this is supposed to be like one of the biggest expansions uh, Paradox has done. It's up there. It's up there with like Man the Guns and Law Resistance. It's a big expansion. It's not like one of the little ones. And those big expansions, they typically have like 30 something developer diaries. 
so far we've had like what 15 i think 15 or 16 uh way for uh developer diaries for this expansion so i i don't think we'll see it anytime soon i'm thinking it's going to be anywhere from 15 to 20 more developer diaries and you know they put out one a week so you can kind of do the math you know if they, they put out that many developer diaries it, if it is a similar number to what they do or what they did for the previous expansions which they there's still a whole lot they haven't talked about yet and so if we do see a similar number then October would be the earliest. So that's what I'm basing it off of. Uh, it's just developer diaries. I don't have any insider knowledge. Uh, I could be completely wrong. Maybe it'll come out in September. But I don't think August is a pretty early expectation. I, I really don't think it would come out this early, guys. Uh, I would expect October. So I think we have plenty of time before that DLC and patch comes out. So that's not really the reason why we're not doing another Hoi 4 series. I'd just like to play another game. Uh, Hoi 4, how well the series does is often based off of how far away we are from the last... Uh, DLC that released and so it's been a little while since the last one and the last one was also a really small one So really the last big expansion was law of resistance And so yeah, it's been a while since then and so I, I do see interest uh, in the series the Hoi 4 series waning a little bit So I don't want to just play Hoi 4 and I like changing up playing different games and we have several new games coming out uh, So there's a few that we can kind of just do a little short series of and that's what I was kind of thinking of doing until uh, a bigger game comes out called humankind Many of you guys have probably heard of it. I haven't played it yet. I've watched a couple videos on it, and it looks really, really fun. It's like a, a more in-depth civilization game, and it's made by the company that does all the Endless games, so like uh, Endless Space, Endless Space 2. Um, God, they had that fantasy one as well. I've played that one. I can't remember the name of it. <sighs> Endless something. They're all called Endless something. Uh, but yeah, they make all those, those games, and they're... They're fun. They're kind of, again, they're very much inspired by civilization, but kind of do their own thing as well. Uh, I guess Endless Space isn't inspired by civilization. It's a completely separate type of game, uh, more like a 4X uh, space game. Amplitude Studios, that's the name of it. I looked it up because I was wondering what the name of the other game is. It's Endless Legend. That's the name of it. It's their, their fantasy one, or kind of fantasy one. Uh, but I've played their games before, and I've always kind of been on the fence with them. Like, I like them, I have fun with them, but I, I never really liked them as much as, like, Paradox games. But this one here, Humankind, I think it could give Civilization a run for its money, and I love Civilization. I play the hell out of Civilization. I've played all of them since two or three. I don't know which one I started with. I started with two or three. And uh, I really enjoy the Civilization games. And so I'd love to see somebody who takes that format and then makes it more complicated, puts more depth to it, and, and just... Uh, add some competition in that that area and so I'm really excited for the humankind game I like what they're doing what I've seen so I was thinking about checking that out uh, which it comes out in a few weeks uh, so we'd have to, to cover a few shorter series in the meantime uh, so that's probably what we're gonna do it's kind of cover a few few other games that are like coming out something I haven't done in a while since 2019 2019 was the last time that I kind of took a break from paradox games and just started covering like you know smaller games I did that in 2018 and 2019, uh, and before that. Uh, so I think we're going to kind of return to that, and uh, maybe take a break from Paradox Games just for a few weeks. Uh, well, I guess for for longer if the Humankind series does well. Uh, so we do like a, a much longer series with that one. That's that's the plan. Things can change. Uh, you know, if Paradox announces a DLC, uh, the DLC, you know, the actual date for a DLC, and it's coming up soon, then we'll. we'll play that. Uh, the only thing that I can really think of though, because Victoria 3 is not coming out this year, it's probably not going to be coming until 2022. So you just have the, the Hoi, Hoi 4 DLC. Is there anything else? I think EO4 just had their DLC and apparently it sucked. Uh, CK3 CK3's got an upcoming DLC, which I'm pretty excited for, but again, I don't know when that one's coming out. It's sometime this year too, uh, I believe. So we'll probably play that, but I don't think that's anytime soon either. Uh, so yeah, I don't think there's going to be any DLC uh, soon. In which case, yeah, we'll just play some other games. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, maybe we'll have a patron vote for them. If there's, like, multiple games that I'm looking at playing it, uh, then we'll we'll have a patron vote. Otherwise, I'll just, you know, pick them up and play them. We'll do, like, little short series with them until that human ga uh, Humankind game comes out, which is soon, a couple weeks from now. The next series will not be Hard to Run 4, and I don't know when the next Hoi 4 campaign will be. Uh, it'll just kind of depend on how things go with those other series, how long we play them, how long we cover them for. But maybe before the end of this month, it's a possibility. Maybe it won't be till September, in which case then we are kind of coming up on a, getting close to the, the DLC and patch, and then maybe we want to have like a shorter series or something. 
yeah, so I don't know. We'll have to see, guys. We'll just kind of roll with it. But did want to let you guys know that the next series will not be Hearts of Iron 4. We're going to play some other games. And uh, those will not be starting until next week, Monday at the earliest, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, it depends on which games I play, when they come out, and, and how long it takes to record them and get them out. Uh, because, remember, we will not have any video on Sunday because that is our anniversary. Uh, we're going to do our 14th wedding anniversary. So we often make a, a big deal of our anniversaries, you know, spend a lot of time together, have a good time that day, and uh, just try and enjoy ourselves. So, yeah, we won't be putting any videos out that day or recording anything. Uh, but we'll be off together and just kind of hanging out, spending the day together. Uh, we're probably going to go out. I haven't decided exactly where we're going just yet. Yeah, we're probably going to go out that day, do something, do something nice together. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the end of the series. I hope you guys did enjoy it as much as I did. This was a real fun series. I enjoyed the campaign quite a bit. Don't even really have too many gripes about it. Uh, especially when you use that mod. The mod worked out pretty well for the most part. We had like one issue, another issue that wasn't an issue. It just we weren't being patient. Uh, but for the most part, the mod worked out well and I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it worked out nicely. Of course, uh, it was easier than expected. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun campaign. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Hope you guys did as well. If you did, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Remember, if you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next series, go check out the front page of our channel. We have 3,000-something videos all sorted by genre. Got a section just for the Hearts of Iron 4 campaigns. I've done like 30-something campaigns on the channel, so maybe consider watching one of the older ones. Uh, some of them are not that old. Uh, we know we did a couple this year. I think we've done, what, two other campaigns this year? Uh, so maybe go check out one of those maybe look at the strategy uh, section which has uh, other strategy games from Paradox including uh, Stellaris, uh, CK3 and EU4 and then also non-Paradox games that we played and then there's of course all the content on the channel that isn't strategy which often is on the console with my wife and co-host Jinx so maybe go check out one of those series if you never watched those it's a little bit different, a little bit more lighthearted. Uh, we kind of just you know, joke around a lot, have a bit of fun in our in our series. Uh, so yeah, maybe go check one of those other campaigns, other series out while you wait for the next video, which again will be early next week. That's the plan. And uh, there's a couple games coming out, so I haven't decided just what haven't just yet decided which one I'm going to cover. And it'll probably be based on uh, which one I like the most. Uh, so, so yeah, we'll be starting that early next week. Uh, if you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos to find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. you also find links to all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff if you'd like to follow us on there. And finally, you'll find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. So I do hope to see you guys on the next video, and thanks for watching.